The Absolute Studio Standard EQ FabFilter Pro Q got an update to version 4, six years after version 3 was released. You can never blame FabFilter to force a plugin release for the sake of generating revenue. There have been updates to the plugin of course, but that long time between upgrades makes expectations really high. It was also time for an upgrade. Functionality wise, ProQ3 was overtaken in a few areas by plugins like, for instance, Eventide's Split EQ and Tone Boosters EQ Pro, and of course, Sooth 2. This video is more of a first reaction overview, and I want to hear from you to which plugins I should compare ProQ4. When you install FabFilter ProQ4, you see that this plugin now also supports Clap. So if you use a DAW with that format, you're in luck. At first sight, ProQ4 looks a lot like ProQ3. But when you put them side by side, you'll see that there's actually quite a difference. ProQ4 looks a lot sleeker, but a lot is basically the same, which is fine. ProQ3 and even ProQ2 have one of the best EQ interfaces around. The EQ info node got a visual update. It uses the same visual style as introduced in Pro R2. Now a lot of the plugin has stayed the same because there's no need to change what has been working great by an industry leading plugin. But there are new functions which are in my opinion great but there's also one big glaring omission. Now the biggest addition comes in two. The first is something which feels like a very logical expansion on the dynamic EQ abilities of Pro Q. And that is that by clicking this icon you get basically a sort of Sooth 2 on a band. So you get resonance suppression, but you also get resonance enhancing. First, the suppression. In comparison to a very wide band with the same dynamic reduction, the difference sounds like this. The spectral function is far more precise sounding with this wide of a range. Normal dynamic EQ reduction should be used on a smaller band for sure, each has to use. But since the spectral dynamics are a logical evolution of the normal dynamic EQ, this function can also boost on the same acoustic guitar that sounds like this. It sounds far more natural with a broad boost like this. But again, normal dynamic EQ probably works better on smaller ranges and used more subtly. The simple fact that spectral dynamics can work in upwards mode as well make that ProQ4 takes a lead in this area in comparison to the competition. Function wise you get density, attack and release like with other resonance suppression plugins. And since this is an EQ plugin, this all works on left or right and mid or side as well. One thing to note is that this spectral dynamics always works in linear mode. Before we get into the second part of the good new additions, please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit that like button. This video is sponsored by Distrokid. Cover songs is probably one of the many types of songs you would love to do, but uploading to a streaming platform is always a hassle due to copyrights and required fee because you cover an original song. DistroKit makes this very easy for you by offering the option to do this all for you for $12 per song per year when you have a DistroKit subscription. Use my link in the description to get 7% off of your first year on a DistroKit. One thing I always wish that was added to ProQ is saturation. Because you know FabFilter has Saturn 2 and the tech to do it. And in ProQ4 we get it in a way. Below here you can enable character mode. Clean is how every ProQ version has sound ever, subtle and warm at various amounts of saturation. To me it sounds like EQ into a global saturation. 
And that is slightly disappointing because it does not set saturation per band. But it certainly will add beef when you switch between clean and one of the two saturation modes like you can hear here with this ugly lower end boost. For the high end of a snare, it can also work nicely. It can add more body and punch. Another new function is Sketch, and I think this is a good idea, but not awesome in execution. With this you can draw an EQ curve, but you can only draw from left to right and do some correction while you keep your mouse button pressed. ProQ4 will then add EQ curve settings automatically, which you can adjust. When you want to use a draw on an existing curve, you lose all settings, which is a bummer. Now you can use draw in the new instance list. This list will display every instance of ProQ4 in one window. This makes it very easy to work on conflicting areas and you can basically use all functions of ProQ4 on each instance as well. This is a huge speed improvement. Now there are lots more improvements done to ProQ, but there's one big omission in my opinion. There are no split EQ type EQ curves when you can work independently on attack and release of a frequency band. Plugins which can do that are for instance Split EQ and Tone Booster EQ Pro. I don't know why this isn't included, it seems like a no brainer to me. This unfortunately leaves a bit of a bitter taste because this is actually one thing I absolutely expected. Will I use ProQ4? Well yes, I have already bought it and ProQ3 was already my favorite EQ plugin to begin with. But check it out yourselves to see if it fits in your audio toolshed.